bitches of horror. We have a new interview coming up with uh, Abigail Blackmore and Nicholas Benz. Yes, we had a chance to talk to them at the Women in Horror Month event. And uh, it was a great chat. It wasn't just only about their projects, but no, also just like, about anything. Yeah, around it was yeah. very long and yeah. very interesting. <laughs> yeah, very fun. Uh, yeah, so so take a look. Yeah, check it out. My name's Abigail Blackmore. Yes, um, I'm here with a short film called Vintage Blood. Awesome. And um, there... my name is Nicholas Vince um, from Hellraiser and Nightbreed, and I'm got here with a film, I'm just on the panel tonight, but I'm also promoting Mindless by Katie Bonham and she's showing her film Paper Round. Mm, I'm excited about that. Yeah, it's <laughs> yeah. really good. Have okay. you seen it? No. Oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> really good. It's one of the reasons, it's the reason I agreed to do her film. Oh, I no. thought it was me. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> it is now. It is now, of course it is. <laughs> so, um, tell us a little bit about Mindless and, you know, what, what was your role in it? So, as you can see from the poster, I play Peter, um, who's a man with, um, who's basically being cared for at home, and every time the carers come in, they find him into the you know, place being ripped apart, there's furniture being flung everywhere, and articles knocked over and so on. And basically, it's only, it's only a short film, um, it's basically the explanation of what, why that is happening. It's very, it's really clever. <laughs> I watched it for the first time. The other day, Katie actually showed it to me. She was only showing a handful of people, um, including the guys at Pride Fest, because that's where it's premiering up in Glasgow. And I got to it, I was like, I really am creepy, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, that's really creepy. That's yeah. the man who was in Hellraiser. Yeah, that's yeah. the man who was in Hellraiser. Wait a second. <laughs> so, uh, you know, being in Hellraiser and everything, mm. and uh, Ashley Lawrence is playing this lead Cenobite in the new Hellraiser movie, it's r rumoured. That's the first time I've... Sorry, the look of complete surprise is genuine. <laughs> Actually, I hadn't picked up on that rumour. Um, Heather Larkin-Champ. No, sorry, it? Heather Larkin-Camp. Heather Larkin-Camp is in it, yes. Heather Larkin-Camp is going to be in it. Yes. What, what is your sort of reaction to a woman being the lead Cenobite? Well, as Barnaby Wilde will point out, in the book, the lead Cenobite is a female anyway. Um, in the original novella, How About a Heart? It's a woman. Um, I, you know, let's face it, by the time these guys got through what they go through in terms of scarification, etc., the Cenobites are looking over, oh, men doesn't female, really matter, doesn't really matter. Really, they're kind of sexless yeah, in a way. Like yeah, 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 I know. If you look at them, they are kind of sexless. Yeah. Um, it was kind of high priests and priestesses. Yeah. Um, so, I, listen, as long as it's a good movie, I like people around and saying, oh, it's, the dog's not in it, etc., etc. And I say, well, yeah. He, he, was, he had his go. He had his go. You know, he did I, really well. Yeah. He did really well. It's hard to follow up. But. You, know, it, it, you know, there are all sorts of stories behind that. But Gary Tonicliffe, <laughs> who did the makeup for Pinhead on, on the later ones, and then all the makeup for the Hammers. And I love the guy. He's a really nice guy. And I would love to see him, you know, behind the camera doing all those things to do. So good yes, luck. Yes, because he's directing, isn't he? He's writing and directing. Wow. He's writing and directing. And I think based very much on an idea that he was trying to get off the ground. It wasn't necessarily Hellraiser, but it sounded like a very good idea, judgment. I'm looking at the, um, the promo videos for the Kickstarter campaign later on today. And I, it just sounds really interesting. Yeah. yeah. So the main I like point it. is make, make it good. Yeah, yeah. the main make point is good. make it good. Yeah. 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 It doesn't matter, you know, here's a good thing. And hopefully do something different. Well, don't just repeat. Exactly. It's been done before yeah. really oh, well. Precisely. I mean, Clive has always been very good about giving his babies to other people to go off and play with. <laughs> that sounds really bad. <laughs> 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 toys. Actually, that's probably you not much better. <laughs> it's out there. It's out there. Absolutely, it's out there. Um, I, he was very generous. You know, the, uh, the, there's the book, The Hellbound Heart. It's a novella. Barbie and I wrote short stories for a book called The Hellbound Hearts, which are based on the Hellraiser mythos and so on. Um, I wrote um, stories for the Hellraiser comics back in the 1980s for Epic Comics and so on. So, there's, you know, there is a huge big world there uh, for, you know, for creators to go in and play. Um, so they better so, use it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> as you say, Abigail, as long as you're making it good, yeah. doing something that's not been done, you know, not retreading, then great. You don't need to. No, yeah. no, not at all. Yeah. Awesome. Absolutely. 
So Abigail, tell us a little bit about your feature or your now, film, you not the film tonight. Now you look at the camera you talking. I kind of looked at you as much as possible. <laughs> you did, did you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. Um, yeah, talk towards them because they've got so, a microphone. <laughs> so I have a short film called Vintage Blood, which is set in a vintage clothes shop in North London, starring Indira Varma, who, um, if anyone's a fan of Game of Thrones, she plays oh. uh, Alaria, Alaria, Alaria. Um, <laughs> She's awesome, and uh, it's about a woman who owns a vintage clothes shop, and um, somebody plants a Ouija board on her, and she discovers that this Ouija board is cursed, and that her fiance's life is in danger. That's all I'm saying. Oh wow! That's all I'm saying. Yeah. So I have terrible experiences with Ouija boards. Really? Oh, yes, really? I do. Excellent. So I don't go near them anymore. Really? Did you? Have you ever had Never like that experience or anything? No. Do you dare to? No. Yeah. Would no. you like to try? No. <laughs> Fascinates me. I wouldn't do it, but not in my own home. I might do it in somebody else's. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I would love to do it in Jasmine's home. <laughs> I'm like Jasmine. Can we do it here? Yeah. <laughs> do it in an abandoned lunatic asylum. <laughs> <laughs> that always that's works. Always, that's fine. Yeah, that's that's safe. Going that's safe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Should write that in the uh, in the manual. <laughs> <laughs> Should we move on? Yeah, let's move on. Okay. Um, what else have you got? Um, let's see. Oh, I've got Jamie Foxx in Mother's Day. Oh, that was so cool. Yeah, that was really cool. Card game that had letters on it, and I remember getting lexicon. I think it was called. Wow. Um, and we would have been, you know, we were pre-teens, probably eight or nine, something like that. And my mum was, you know, the person who introduced me to horror movies. So yeah, me too. Me too. Really? Yeah, yeah. My mum used to let us stay up and watch things like Salem's Lot. Um, Ball. We watched, which is totally inappropriate. Um, I don't know if you saw that. Um, and it and all the Stephen King films, the adaptations that are on TV, and we used to watch them, and then we'd all pile into my mum's bed. <laughs> and, I, and she still is obsessed with horror, so, and my husband doesn't really watch horror, so whenever my mum, I invite her up and go, let's watch horror. In fact, she came up the other day and we watched, I think we watched three and a half films in just overnight. Um, that was cool, so we did a little festival. So she must be really proud of you working in horror. Well, yeah, I mean, this is my first horror short. I've mostly done comedy and drama, so, and, um, but I've always loved horror, and this is the first time I've actually done it, and um, just off my own back, and um, yeah, now I'm in, I'm totally. So I can't believe I haven't, you know. Can't go back. This before. <laughs> no, I don't want to go back. I mean, I, I still write horror and drama and comedy, but. Have um, you ever yeah, thought horror, of like mixing them together? The like Hopefully, comedy. I'm thinking of TV horror ideas. Okay, so, awesome. Yeah, anyone got any between me? <laughs> 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 Tell me what you want to see. <laughs> Sounds really interesting. Yeah, I and mean, apparently horror and fantasy and sci-fi are doing really well on TV, especially amongst the uh, younger lot. Younger. There is some re- I, I still, I've still got the first season of Penny Dreadful oh, sitting I on this. I haven't had a love chance it. to watch it. And it gives me, yeah, it's one of those yeah. things that I'm actually just going to sit down and watch. Yeah. Um, Hannibal, I, again, I just didn't get into. No. But I was reading some really good articles as to why they think they got away with so much that they did by making it a kind of surreal, not quite reality. It was a thing. beautiful series. It was v- really? well done. Yeah, and Mads yeah. Mikkelsen is... He was better than I thought he was. He was going to be as yeah. Hannibal Lecter. Yeah. But it was. It's 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 okay. right. fun, it was alright. It took itself very seriously. I thought. Yeah. I only did four episodes, and I was like, oh. <laughs> I don't like anything to be too serious. Like, <laughs> life isn't that serious. You know? <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> well, this is what Vincent Price always used to say: is that you know, if you could at least make it funny, at yeah. least make it some sort Something. of humor. Yeah. You're going to have some sort of humor in it, in it and so. Relieve the tension every yeah, now and again. Yeah. Because I think that's how to get your audience in and caring. Because if it's just full on, you bah, don't bah, 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 character relations. You, yeah. you don't really care about these yeah. people. Um, and look at True Detective, which wasn't my favourite thing, but the relationship between the two guys, the first season, was kind of funny. They were mm. playing off each other, and that was the best stuff. In my yeah, opinion. yeah. Um, and uh, but that also took itself quite seriously. But it did have some humour in there. Like right. That. They all do the stag thing, the, you know, the antler thing. It's too much. Stop antlers. No more antlers. No more. <laughs> <laughs> that actually comes from, you know, British mythology with the horned man. Yeah, yeah, I know. But it's, it's just powerful. been overly done. It's powerful. It's overly done. Basically, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's all the British fault. Blame yourselves. Please, please no more antlers. Yeah. <laughs> just for a while. Have you seen The Witch? 
No, I'm desperate. Oh, we, you really want to see be... it. Have you yeah. 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 March. Sorry, it's okay, no, 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 no antlers. antlers. Oh, that's fine. Oh, no, the... uh, it doesn't matter. I'm going to tell you. I can't I'm not going to tell you. Do go and see it. Yeah, I'm going to see it as soon as it opens. You were talking about Fry Face. It was on a Fry If you see antlers, walk out. No, I didn't see it at Fry Face. I'm lying. No, no, I saw it in Sheffield, didn't I? I saw it at Silly Road Screams at the end of last year. Yeah, it's nice. Oh, we're looking forward to that. Yeah. Very good. Excited. All right. Yeah. He's in R. Ah. The Steve Oren film. It's the one where they're all apes. But mm. they're, oh, mm. you, no, not that. Mm. I love that. I saw it again recently and it's so brilliant. It's like even better second time around. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Go see it, kids. No, really. Don't. Just leave that out of your life. <laughs> Sorry, I'll meet him. I'll, I'll next week. I, listen, I'm a big fan of his work. I saw him in um, Sightseers. Yeah. Love Sightseers. Look at all the talent on that screen, I think. Watch really it again, really and you'll go, oh, this is amazing. Well, you might not, but no, I did. No, okay. no, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Love Sightseers. Are we, this has turned into a movie review. <laughs> yeah. We're a movie review vlog, so Are it's you? perfect. Yeah. Oh, sorry. That's fine. <laughs> no. yeah. So, um, what's your on this event, the Women in Horror Month and everything, what is your, your opinions of, you know, what do you think about this event? Do you think it's a good thing, a bad thing, a it's exciting terrible. thing? <laughs> I know. Rubbish. Why did we Don't come? understand why women are allowed. No. <laughs> Kick them all out. <laughs> so, they've got nothing to say. I, 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 I'm, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just going to move away from them. <laughs> um, one of the main things that was so exciting about making a horror short was kind of getting involved in the horror community. Um, one of the things I wanted to do was make this short and then go to some horror festivals. Go, I've been to Fright Fest mm. as a punter, but um, so I'm still doing that. We're still on the festival circuit, and um, so this is my first Women in Horror Month. To be honest, I didn't know there was a Women in Horror Month. No. <laughs> it's growing. I think it's yeah. mainly been in the states. Um, so. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's a good I think thing. It's the first time I've known of an event over yeah, here in London. I think this is I think the first one. Kudos to Jonathan Hughes, yeah. who, who, who got, you know, had the mad idea of actually trying to get this whole thing together. Yeah. I think you know, that's quite an extraordinary thing. Yeah, yeah, and I, yeah, and absolutely. And if it inspires, if it inspires any noisy people walking on the street, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and if it inspires any anybody to make movies, do it. And that's yeah. obviously yeah. a great thing. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I've yeah. just I've been on my I mean, YouTube show, which I do on a Sunday night, where I interview uh, particularly independent filmmakers. Um, let me give you my card. That'll be the longest one. <laughs> um, no, that's always the Soskas, whatever the Soskas oh, yeah. are. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, they're great. Yeah, I kind of dedicated it to this one. And it's really interesting to talk to. I've had, I've had the Soska sisters on before. Um, and so on, but it is very different talking to women. You, you bring something different, yeah. As far as I'm concerned, yeah. and that's what's so interesting. We've got, we've got different stories to tell from a different perspective. Yes. So yeah. Clearly, yeah. And I was, I was talking the other day um, to somebody the other day, and I was just thinking a lot of the stuff that I see when I'm presented at conventions and so on is just I get very disturbed by the way that women are treated. Um, and actors, it's, it's just think seriously. You, women honestly do have more than two dimensions. Uh, you know, it, there is more than up and out. Chesla, that seems yeah. to be all that everyone's interested. I'm, I'm quite excited by Alice Lowe's new film. She's just made a feature. She directed her first feature, obviously Sightseers. Right. Um, and she, I think she was eight, seven or eight months pregnant wow. when she made it, and uh, she stars in it as well. And it, she says it's uh, ta it's like a female taxi driver, um, female take on taxi driver set in Wales, and she's just I don't which is having like this existential kind of breakdown or something. And it, it looks amazing. I'm really excited about that. So, oh wow! Um, yeah. So she's if you get ever get a chance to interview Alice Lowe, she yeah I would highly recommend. It. I mean it'll be hopefully everywhere soon. It's called Prevenge. Prevenge. Oh, Prevenge. Okay. I think I'm out. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. I think, I think yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs>